Hey everyone. So I wanted to talk a minute about my sandal situation because I have worn chacos since the end of college. My best friend and I ordered chacos together when we graduated and I have worn them ever since. And my last pair of chacos my husband bought me and I have worn them for maybe five years or so. And Last summer, so summer of 21, I thought I'm going to buy myself a new pair of Chacos because mine were starting to wear out and I just wanted some new shoes. So I ordered a pair. They came and I realized that they changed the sole. They're not Vibram soles anymore. They are Chaco soles. It felt different to me. It felt different than the Vibram sole chacos I have I've had in the past which have had at least three pair. I have a very narrow foot and I couldn't get the straps to tighten down like I'm used to being able to with my old chacos. So I thought well maybe I just got a one-off pair of shoes so I exchanged and got another pair same size and the same problem. It was super frustrating and I realized I, I don't think chacos are for me anymore because I just don't fit my foot. So I searched and searched for this whole year and I finally found a shoe that is awesome and an awesome replacement. My other dilemma in this shoe situation is that I have hyperhidrosis which if you're not familiar with hyperhidrosis it is just an over sweating um, and I've had it my whole life, and it's primarily in my hands and my feet. My feet sweat so much. I have to make sure that the shoes I wear allow it to where I can walk and not just slip around and be miserable in my shoes. So I can't wear cute, flat sandals or anything like that very often because it just, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> So I needed a shoe that would keep my foot secure, like a Chaco. And I, and I also thought that the Chacos are, are a little bit more heavy than I want at this point in my life. I wanted something a little more lightweight. Anyways, I found Bedrock Cairn 3D Pro shoes, um, the, the second iteration of them. Here they are. They are a thong style sandal with adjustments on three sides of the shoe so I can adjust the ankle I can adjust the everyday um, buckle there and then here there's another way to adjust it on the inside of the foot I've been wearing them for four days now and they are awesome Vibram soles it took me a day to get them like where I wanted them to be but they are so much better and you'll see my chacos are really they're falling apart you can see daylight through them on both shoes but anyways they are just spent and I didn't want to get them resold and not have the Vibram sole that was really important to me and not to mention I think that it would be slightly different anyways but if anyone has any experience getting Vibram Sold Chacos resold on with a new Chaco sole, let me know how that went for you and if it was worth it and if you like them. So the only other thing about these Bedrock 3D Pro 2 sandals is that the sizing is different. I went with a size women's 10 well they're universal size so men's 9 women's 10 in the bedrock shoes my chacos are women's size 9 and they are about the same size and so this is a women's 10 women's 9 so I'm glad I got the bigger size because a men's 8 women's 9 in the bedrock would have been much too small they fit my feet really great I'm not going to slip out of my shoe so this is how they fit and my foot is secure and my feet don't slip. They're made for being in the water. Um, 
I have had no issues at all. So I wanted to update you all on my sandal situation. When I first made the video, I had worn them for four days and with no problem. But I was also wearing them 100% of the time I was wearing shoes because I wanted them broken in because we are on a big adventure and I needed my sandals to work. So the very next day, I started developing blisters on the top of my feet where the strap um, meets kind of that inside softer skin on my foot. On both feet, two little blisters, I'll show you. So it was right there where those red spots are. Those were my blisters. I was pretty bummed about it, but I continued wearing the sandals. I just kept them a little bit more loose on my foot while I was trying to get used to them and nurse my blisters. So that was the only downside. I love these shoes and highly recommend them for anyone who might be in the same boat as me with hyperhidrosis and narrow foot and chacos don't work for you anymore. They're absolutely my favorite sandal I've ever had. Um, definitely worth the money. Fortunately for me, my aunt bought them for me for my birthday, which I'm super thankful for um, because they are technically a bit out of my price range. Um, but I would absolutely buy them again with my own money um, whenever these wear out because they are that fantastic. Um, so thank you, Aunt Dodie, for my new sandals. And this is not endorsed by Bedrock or anybody. I just thought I would share my experience and hope that it helps somebody with the same questions that I had when I was buying them. Bye!